Hello, lovely listeners. Today, we're diving into a piece of classic Japanese literature that explores the beauty and transience of life as symbolized by cherry blossoms. This story, Under the Cherry Trees, by Motojiro Kaji, is a reflection on the paradox of beauty and death. As we explore this thought provoking piece, I encourage you to ponder on the fleeting beauty of life and the inevitable presence of death, beautifully symbolized by the scenic cherry blossoms. There are corpses buried under the cherry trees. You can believe this. Why, you ask? Isn't it unbelievable that cherry blossoms bloom so beautifully? I couldn't believe in their beauty. And it's been bothering me for the past few days. But now, I've finally understood. There are corpses buried under the cherry trees. It's something you can believe. Why? Every night on my way home, among the many tools in my room, there's a tiny, thin one. A safety razor blade, come to mind like a clairvoyant. You said you didn't know why, and I don't know either, but it must be something similar. Any tree blossom, when it reaches the so-called peak state, disperses a kind of mysterious atmosphere into the air. It's like a spun top that comes to a perfect standstill, or like a good musical performance. Always accompanied by some kind of hallucination, a halo-like illusion of scorching reproduction. It's a strange, vibrant, beautiful thing that doesn't leave the human heart unaffected. But that's also what made me gloomy yesterday and the day before. I felt like I couldn't believe in its beauty. Instead, I felt anxious, melancholic, and empty. But now, I finally understand. You should imagine, under these cherry trees in full bloom, one by one, corpses are buried. You'll understand what made me so anxious. Corpses like horses, cats and dogs, and humans. All rotten with maggots and unbearable smell, yet dripping with crystal-like fluid. The cherry roots, like greedy octopuses, embrace them, gather their hair like roots like a sponge's feeding filament, and suck up that liquid. What makes such petals? What makes such stamens? I feel like I can see the crystal-like liquid sucked up by the roots, forming a quiet procession, and rising dreamily inside the vascular bundles. What's with your pained face? It's a beautiful x-ray technique, isn't it? Now, I can finally look at the cherry blossoms with a steady eye. I have freed myself from the mystery that made me anxious yesterday and the day before. A few days ago, I went down to the creek here and walked along the rocks. From the water spray, mayflies were born like Aphrodites here and there, flying up towards the sky of the creek. As you know, they have a beautiful wedding there. After walking for a while, I came across something strange. It was in the water left in a dry creek bed. An unexpected oil-like luster was floating all over. What do you think it was? It was the corpses of countless mayflies. Their overlapping wings, crimped by the light, were flowing an oil-like luster. That was their graveyard after laying their eggs. When I saw it, I felt a pang in my chest. I tasted a cruel joy, like a pervert who digs up graves and feasts on corpses. There is nothing in this valley that makes me happy. The warblers and sparrows, the young leaves of trees, smoking the white sunlight into blue, are just vague images. I need a tragedy. With that balance, my image becomes clear. My heart is thirsty for melancholy like a demon. Only when my melancholy is complete, does my heart become calm. You're wiping under your arm, aren't you? Are you sweating? I feel the same. There's nothing unpleasant about it. Think of it as sticky, like semen. That's how our melancholy is completed. Ah, oh, there are corpses buried under the cherry trees. I have no idea where this imagination came from. But now it's one with the cherry tree. And no matter how much I shake my head, it won't go away. Now I feel like I can drink the sake of cherry blossom viewing with the same rites as the villagers who are having a feast under the cherry tree. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of Motojiro Kaji's Under the Cherry Trees. This story leaves us with an intriguing perspective on the transient beauty of life and its inevitable end. The next time you see cherry blossoms, perhaps you'll see them in a new light as symbols of both life's fleeting beauty and its inescapable end. Make sure to subscribe and join us for more journeys into the rich world of Japanese literature. Until next time, happy reading.